Interfaith Communities United for Justice and Peace, ICUJP, has for over a decade followed a clear vision to organize communities of faith and conscience in support of peace, justice, and human dignity in the face of war and intolerance, compelling religious communities across the country to stop blessing war and violence by speaking truth to power, to whomever is in power. Jim Lawson and Rabbi Jacobs, Louis Chase, Ed Bacon, Meher Hartu, Najir Kaja. And I said, we need to meet. We need to see what the religious community's response is to this tragedy. You can remember the day when there was a blackboard and we set about to give this organization a name. And every word meant something and has meant something for the last 11 years. And so the Interfaith Communities United for Justice and Peace was born. And we have met for 550 Friday mornings at 7.15. Interfaith. We knew that had to be the core of this work. We knew the traditions we had all come from. Christians and Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and Sikhs and humanists and others. Communities. This was not meant to be just another group of leaders, of clergy, officially, blessed into their face. This would be communities that would do the hard work we saw ahead of us. Interfaith communities for something and not just against something. Justice. We knew it had to start with justice and peace. 
and that was our ultimate goal. Interfaith communities united for justice and peace. Every day that we stay at war is another day of loss and tragedy that we cannot afford. Not in our hearts, not in our spirits, not in our federal budget. Every day is too long. Where have we been? Where are we now? What is the vision of the future that we long to create? Every day during Elul, we hear the sounds of the shofar, the ram's horn. May these sounds remind us of all of those whose lives were lost on the attacks on 9-11, and also in the wars that emerged in response to those attacks, both soldiers and civilians. May these sounds challenge us to ask what we have done over these years to bring healing to our world. And may these sounds empower us to work together for peace. for the wars and 41 percent of our children live in poverty in the United States of America that is the greatest obscenity of our day we say make jobs not war make sense not war make art not war make anything not war we're connecting the greed on Wall Street with the greed of war profiteers. And that peace power is the power that will work through us and work through everyone we come in contact with once we understand it's first within ourselves. When you dehumanize a whole race of people, a whole religion of people, a whole area of the world, with just because they're brown, that you can treat them like they're not human, treat them that like they don't exist, that this is somehow justified. But this is not just about my community of faith. It's not about my community of faith that's being affected by all of this. It's about my community of conscience. And we're called, all of us, to a different vision of the world. A vision in which the essential dignity and humaneness of every human being, whoever they may be, every human being is honored. We in the field of religion call that being made in the image of God, the divine essence of every human being. I want to urge that we put aside all the political fancies about these days and instead we unite around the notion that we must get in the way of the forces of spiritual wickedness that would reduce this country to an oligarchy and end the experience of self-government towards the destiny of every man and every woman. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We will walk in peace. We shall not be moved. For over 11 years, ICUJP has consistently developed campaigns to expose and counter unbridled militarism and violence through public demonstrations, acts of civil disobedience, and organizing educational efforts against immoral and unconstitutional policies of torture drone warfare and assassinations, ongoing human rights violations, and domestic spending policies that have created deep economic disparities in our society. From its inception over a decade ago, ICUJP has been focused on teaching nonviolence and building a culture of peace. Today, ICUJP remains committed to its core mission that religious communities must stop blessing war and violence. In September 2012, at a gala reception and ceremony, ICUJP honored the extraordinary life and work of Reverend James Lawson, 
with the George Regis Courageous Peacemaker Award, inspiring the capacity crowd to sustain the struggle for peace and justice. Through ICUJP's Regis Internship, a monthly educational series has been established, encouraging interfaith dialogue and teaching the tools of peacemaking to young adults and all people of conscience. Through these various programs, ICUJP continues to grow its base of support, maintaining the flame of peace and justice now and into the future. We cannot afford to do otherwise.